Unfortunately, gotta be shirtless for this one. Can we be shirtless? Yo, what is up guys? I hope you are having a great day. So, title of this video, man, it is not clickbait. I am legit going to tell you guys the three possibilities. It might be a combination of something, why I look smaller or why I might be losing my gains, all right? It's not some bull excuse it's not clickbait and in fact you guys are going to help me out and actually the reason that I made this video is actually pretty interesting man and it all starts at the LA Fit Expo all right I'll explain after but since the expo was pretty lit anyway cue the montage Not every day, but every time there's a new one, I'll, I'll listen to it. Oh, because he's so caught up. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I appreciate it, bro. Oh, thank you. Sweet. Donix Podcast. For years, I've always been the big guy in school. I've always had muscles, but I was always afraid to take off my shirt. I like, got the beach usually. And it wasn't until I started doing this program where I started actually seeing results and abs. Mm. And now I'm not afraid to take off my shirt. I see. Hell yeah, man. It. Take off the shirt in front of all those girls. <laughs> shredded. Pro Look at that. He has a freaking 12 pack now. Hell yeah, bro. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that epic montage. So obviously, man, I might have a few haters and you know, on all my videos, you see the Instagram comments, you see the YouTube comments, man. Connor's losing his abs or Connor looks smaller, Connor's losing his gains, right? And you know, obviously people are just gonna hate. You can't really do anything about that, but sometimes it's hard to distinguish between hate and just criticism. Because if I actually do look smaller, then that's fair, man. And what really got me thinking was when I was at the LA Fit Expo, I met so many fans and one fan, he asked me sincerely, yo, Connor, what happened to your gains, man? Like, why do you look smaller? Smaller. And I was like, oh, like this guy isn't a hater and he's legit asking me what happened to my gains. So I stepped back and I had to objectively think about it. Am I smaller? Am I losing my gains? So we are going to figure that out. All right, guys. So reason number one why I might be losing my gains. All right. So, yo, I'm going to be completely honest here. The YouTube life, man, I know it looks all wonderful and great, but it can be stressful, man. All right. I have a lot of pressure and don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. Life's f***ing awesome. But I do have some pressure from you guys and the internet to be shredded year round. And that's tough to do you guys know most people bulk and then they cut well for the past year i've never bulked i've basically stayed around maintenance or in a deficit like for the past year see most people cut for only like 12 weeks but when you're in a deficit for like a year your energy input is limited right and your body is great at adapting right so if your energy input is limited your body wants to limit your energy output and what's a great way to do that well it's to shrink in size and first your body wants to take energy from body fat right but when you're natural man and you're at like eight percent body fat that fat is is like vital to your survival and your body really doesn't want to go below that so it ends up you know taking some muscle and so it's very possible that I lost some muscle for being in a deficit or at least not bulking at all for so long so to test this out you guys are gonna help me out all right so in my last vlog as you guys saw back when I was looking jacked all right I told you guys my stats roll the footage so 6 2 205 and probably like 8% body fat so in a minute we are going to go to the Mecca of bodybuilding gold gym Venice and we're gonna wait myself and I haven't weighed myself in so long so I'm really curious to see what I weigh right now so we're gonna show you that and if I weigh less that probably means that I lost some size you guys can judge by the body fat and see if I might have lost some fat too but if I lost weight man I think I'm about around the same body fat I lost some muscle man some Casey Neistat shit right there, man. All right, so reason number two, and I guarantee you no one thought of this. Reason number two why I might be looking smaller is because, Miguel, I'll be honest with you, man, your lens sucks. Back when Alejandro and Phil filmed for me, we always used this wide angle lens. And what this wide angle lens did, man, is objects that are closer, they look huge. All right, it like magnifies them. So maybe we should get a wide angle lens soon and maybe that'll help. But again, I'd like to hear your guys' opinion. Comment below. All right, guys, so the last possibility that I can think of is something that I like to call the LPP. You know what the LPP is, Miguel? Uh, Los Angeles Fire Department. 
you, you might want to work on your alphabet skills, Miguel. I'll think about it. LPP stands for lighting, pump, and pose. All right, so based on the lighting, your pump, and the pose that you're doing, you can look dramatically different. In fact, it's actually so crazy how different you can look that I want to start a challenge. I did this video a long time ago, but I don't know, man. I wasn't popular enough. No one really cared about me. I guess no one really did it, but we're starting the challenge right now. All right, it's called the 10 minute transformation challenge. All right, so the idea is in 10 minutes or less, you want to change your physique from looking the worst it possibly can to looking the best. And the main things that you want to change, man, is the lighting, the pump, and the pose, all right? And you can make it look dramatically different. You can even put some oil on or anything in 10 minutes that makes your physique look different. And the cool thing about this is it promotes transparency in the fitness industry, man. There are people on Instagram photoshopping their pics and they don't look anything in real life like they do on Instagram. And it just really raises awareness and gives people a realistic expectation of people's physiques. So yo, go tell all of your favorite YouTubers. Oh wait, I mean, you know, your second and third favorite YouTubers, you know, go and tell them to do this challenge, right? We are about to do it right now. And yo, there's no excuse for not doing it, all right? If you put a picture of you looking like shit and you looking great in the thumbnail, that is gonna get so many views. The only reason why people wouldn't do it is because they don't wanna show off their flaws, man. Well, you know what? I'm all about honesty, man, so let's do it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take a picture looking the absolute worst as possible. That means bad lighting, no pump, and a shitty pose. So we're gonna turn around and get in the shade. All right, Miguel, come over here. So I'm just gonna completely relax. How does this look, Miguel? Does it look aesthetic? I can't see a single arm. This is kind of embarrassing to show, man, but this is me in horrible lighting. Now, if I wanna make it even worse, I can do something like this. I can stick out the stomach and have an awful posture and an awful pose. All right, so keep that image in your mind, but hopefully it doesn't stay in your mind for long. But now, yo, we are off to Gold's Gym, the mecca of bodybuilding. First, to weigh myself to see what I weigh, and we are going to get a massive pump going and then go into the epic lighting room and see how good I can look. I might not look the most aesthetic, but hopefully I look a little better than I just did. All right, guys, so on the way to Gold's Gym, I wanna tell you guys something I am super excited about. All right, so today and this week is the launch of Adonix Coaching. All right, yo, spots are filling up super fast, so you better hop on that. Go to adonixcoaching.com. Basically, man, how it works, you get an app on your phone, and me and my team are gonna give you personalized meal plans and training plans, all right? You guys send us all your information, right? Height, weight, goals, and we will come up with a customized plan for you. Yo, and it's awesome because it updates every two weeks, all right? You're gonna send in your new stats, and it updates so you don't hit any plateaus. And also, you're gonna get 24-hour email support to me and my team, and also access to our secret Facebook group. It's gonna be on your phone. You're gonna be looking at it every day. If you follow this, you will get aesthetic for 2018, so I highly recommend it. The moment of truth. Look at that, there's a scale right there. Scroll the scale. You guys ready? Bros, I think that means I've lost a pound. Is that body fat? Is that muscle? I don't know. Remember, also the weight can fluctuate by like five pounds throughout the day anyway, so it's tough to tell. Honestly, I don't know, but I want to hear your guys' opinion. All right, let me know. As you can see, the body parts I focus on when getting that pump are the arms, man, the chest, and the shoulders, because that's really what's gonna make the physique look good, especially from the front. So, let's see the final product, man, in this beautiful lighting. Got the pump, let's get it. Let's check out the 10 minute transformation. Let's show the before and the after and let's, let's check out the difference, bros. 
All right, as you can see, obviously a crazy difference. Have I seriously lost gains or not? Possibly, I don't know. It's hard for me to look objectively upon myself, so let me know what you guys think. Okay, yo, so you guys got to see my 10 minute transformation. Go do it, go tell your favorite YouTubers to do it, and actually now we're gonna head to Venice Beach to get girls' opinion on this, and maybe we can get them to do the 10 minute transformation. Luckily, my friends Desi and Tegan came all the way here from Arizona, so we're gonna go meet them. You know, gotta get some girls in the video, man. Let's get it. All right, girls, so probably the most common comment that I get is, yo, Connor, you're losing your abs. Does anyone ever comment that you girls are losing your butts? Yeah, like I feel like people don't really understand. We don't always walk around with like a best beauty palms, the best lighting, the best posing. What most people put on social media is like when they look best, like when we're working out or whatever. My butt gets bigger when I don't work out. So. It is like, really? I never, yeah. I wish all my body fat went to my butt. That'd actually be pretty I cool. don't. I don't have to get lean. It's like still there. It's still yeah. there. Yeah. There's so many ways to like make yourself look bigger in some ways or your waist look smaller. It's all about posing, I feel like. Mainly for girls. Oh, oh yeah. really? Yeah. The difference in posing really matters for girls. For guys, it's like way more about the lighting, right? They gotta show those yeah, shredded cuts, but the poses for sure as well, and the pump. All right, so using just the lighting of the sun and some poses, let's show these wonderful subscribers the difference that we can make, all right? Just by lighting and just by posing, all right? So first, I guess, unfortunately, gotta be shirtless for this one. Can we be shirtless? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Should we take off our shorts too? You know what? If that's what you desire, I'm not gonna tell you no. Okay, to look the worst, we gotta have bad lighting. So Miguel, come around to the other side and let's see the difference in the lighting. How bad does the lighting make us look? It's like all the gains went away. I know, man, like all of it. That is the problem with filming outdoors is you constantly have to be facing the sun. If not, you look like this. Can you just like stick your stomach out like this? <laughs> <I'm going laughs> That's crazy. You can do that. You, you can do, do that. that. What? What? Watch this. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, That's I some... hey, you can do it now. You got this. All right, ready, guys? Check this out. How to lose weight in two seconds. Ready? One, two, three. We can get a quick pump going. Can you guys just like squeeze your booty and get a pump, kind of? Because, <laughs> I don't know. You're, like, leaning against a tree. Try. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So we got a pump. We got decent natural lighting. All right, and now let's hit our best pose. For guys, if you're leaning forward. It makes the upper body look bigger. For girls, you probably want the booty closer to the camera, so it yeah, makes it look bigger. Yeah, and you want right? to square your shoulders to the front. Yeah. It helps make your waist look small. That's for guys too, right? Yeah, that's for guys. You want to yeah. square your shoulders to the front. How does it look, Miguel? Does it look slightly more aesthetic? Yeah, Ten times more. Miguel's Myron, bros. All right, guys. I just looked at that footage, and because we look so aesthetic, it motivated me to do like a Baywatch scene. So, enjoy. 